still on the course, but McElroy, obviously the story on day two. Incredible, and if the cut stays where it is, it's at plus four now. Mm -hmm. Stays where it is, I mean, you've got uh, Ernie Els, KJ Choi, Jeff Ogilvy, Angel Cabrera, Camilo Villegas will all not be playing this weekend. Done. So we're just gonna roll to victory. Easier said than done. I guess you're right. Corey Ward. It is the home to many presidents, and for the second straight day, by the way he has played, Rory McIlroy would have got a presidential stamp of approval as he continues to run away with the U.S. Open. And welcome back to Congressional Country Club. I'm Corey Warren. You know, this tournament has been contested for more than a century, and all the way there have been some historic and some milestone moments. Francis, we met back in 1913, won this tournament and turned the U.S. on to the game of golf. There's been players, the likes of Bobby Jones, and who could forget uh, Tiger Woods and his runaway win in 2000 at Pebble Beach. But what Rory McIlroy is doing here through the first two days is something that has rarely been seen. Here's Bob Weeks. 